on the uh, liquid line pump down valve leaking. I've already take all the, taken all the refrigerant out of it. Yeah. You can see it's still bubbling quite a bit. And for some reason, somebody's mauled it so it's not round anymore. The cap doesn't even go on. So, also the flare fitting's leaking just a little bit right there, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out, pop a new one in, and uh, hopefully that'll be it for this call. So you can see I got the unit totally broken apart. So, uh, much easier access. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get started. New valves in. And uh, got the system on the vacuum now. The mic on gauge. And uh, soon we'll be charging her up. Here's an interesting problem. We've got about an 80 back. Most of about 48 degrees. Pressure converts to about 10, 106. I don't know if you can see that. We've got 46. So it's zero superheat. This is an expansion valve. And just about zero subcooler. And it's a TXV in the air handler. And I double checked to make sure. So it's like it's overfeeding metering device if it was a piston. Expansion valves don't normally fail open. So I'm going to have to take a look and see if I can figure out what's going on here. New expansion valves in. Systems on the vacuum. And should be charging it up here in about 15 minutes or so. So we'll see if it's uh taking care of that overfeeding metering device issue that I was having. Um, yeah, that's it. Alright, expansion valve change out complete. Still adjusting the charge, but let's see, uh, converts to about 48-49 degrees and converts to about 104 Right now I got four subcooling. That was a 100 liquid line, you can see that. And before I had no superheat, which I know is more accurate to check inside coming out of the air handler, but it's on the third floor, so. Now I got 72 and about 50, so I got about 22 degrees of superheat out here. So, probably gonna add a little bit more Used to it, but um, it's looking so much better than it was before. Now the compressor's not sweating like a pig. I'm not flooding back, and I have super heat, which is a good thing. So I'll let it run for another 10 minutes or so, and make sure my numbers don't change. And I'll probably add a little bit more juice to it. And we should be good to go.